And here at home, Changi General Hospital and St Andrews Community Hospital are introducing a new model of care to help the ageing population cope with injuries and illnesses. This will be rolled out at a new eight-storey facility called the Integrated Building, located between the two hospitals in Simei. Our news team with more from today's groundbreaking ceremony. This new integrated building is part of the government's plans for healthcare delivery and services in the east. A key concept will be cluster housing, where patients learn to be independent. We cluster our traditional B2 and C-class beds, uh, the 10 beds, uh, within and try to make it as uh, home-like and homely as possible. The intent is so that the patients' uh, time that they are actively involved in uh, mobilization, actively involved in therapy. It's not just limited to the time that the therapist spends with them, but in terms of the activities that they do uh, when they walk to the toilets, when they uh, eat with their families, uh, when they get a cup of water. Housing 280 beds, the building will also integrate a suite of rehabilitation facilities. They include the geriatric day hospital and neuro and trauma rehabilitation to prepare patients for life back home. Doctors say all this is important as Singapore's population is aging rapidly and the number of people with conditions like hip fractures and stroke increases. Other reasons cited? Shrinking family sizes and caregivers getting older. Research has also shown that physical and mental decline is a side effect of hospitalization, especially for elderly patients. The success will be uh, in terms of whether we can uh, bring them to their best functional uh, state uh, upon discharge. And if they are brought to that state, they will have a better quality of life. Uh, they, there will be less caregiver stress for the family. Uh, there will be a, a, a smaller risk of them having to come back to the acute hospital and also uh, less uh, use of uh, uh, healthcare resources in the community. Over the next 15 months, the two hospitals will build five different mock-ups of wards, each lasting about three months. Now, the mock-ups will allow them to identify potential kings and hopefully reduce teething problems. The 200 million Sing dollar project is expected to be completed by 2014 and will require an additional 850 workers.